Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and select all, okay? So right now, I'm going to a new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. Let's talk about our Rafael Akpajari, aka the Hurricane. Um, Akpajari went under the radar for some time, especially after such a pain, after a painful loss to um Aslanbek Mahmudov last year. Um, uh, Aslanbek Mahmudov recently got stopped by um Ajit Kabayar, and yeah. In that fight, I watched that fight back, you know, Ak Akbajari um, didn't execute the game plan properly. Aslabek Mahmudov, I, like, got the better of Akbajari in that fight because uh, I think Team Akbajari didn't basically test uh, Aslanbek Mahmudov's uh, weaknesses. And I don't think they knew he was weak to the body because that guy has a very strong chin. And for you to beat someone like that, you have to just have you have to have uh, some sort of some some a B plan. Akbajar is someone that is still very much uh, growing as a fighter. He came into boxing late. He's got various attributes. His jab has improved. In that fight, particularly, you know that he did it wrong. And if, for example, they were to have a light, there were to be a rematch, Akbajari will stop Aslanbek Mahmudov within two rounds. I, I'm, I'm very certain because when you know someone's weakness is a little bit different. But fast forward to 2024, Akbajari came back, you know, with vengeance. After that loss to Mahmudov, um, February, he fought in February uh, 9th, um, fought Francesco, Francisco Stevens, Matteo, knocking him out in the first round. Okay, it was a KO. And Francesco, Francisco Stevens, Matteo had around 23 wins. Four losses and zero draw. Akbajari, having that experience, having learned his lesson, I like the fact that Akbajari did not, did not like. Uh, basically, um, he didn't take a very long layoff. You know, some people after they lose like that, they will take a long layoff. He got right back in, and he fought. Um. About a week ago now, you know, and it was an interesting fight against San, uh, Santander Cigaro Gilles. Gilles is very experienced. Um, is that over uh, like 17 losses, 32 wins, stuff like that, but a very experienced guy. Akbajuri stopped him in the first round. It shows Akbajuri is a, uh, you know, um, um, will like his, his zeal to succeed the fight was very interesting i'm proud of akbajuri's determination to be great and that shows how dangerous this monster of a man this mountain of a man is can't wait for his next fight um now 17 wins one loss and with 16 knockouts okay 16 knockouts um i'm happy to see him back and i can't wait to see more of him this is the future right here. the future unified every champion aquajir has what it takes a 6 8 every monster born in lagos nigeria resides in miami florida 
age 33. I know that some people age turn them off, but you have to understand that the modern heavyweights are different. They can fight up to their 50s. I don't think anybody wants to fight up to the 50s, but I think in, in the next five years, you will see the rise of Akboyuri. I believe in his ability, and I can't wait to see him fight next. Give us below, guys. Um, who would you like to see Akboyuri fight next? Akboyuri is in the rebuilding phase now, but I would love to see that rematch against Aslanbek Mahmudov because now that Akboyuri knows uh, Mahmudov's weakness, that body will be broken down. And he'll probably knock him out cold. I mean, cold. With the fight next. Akbar is a guy that's very fearless. He doesn't fear anyone. That's the beauty of having a fighter that goes against the heart. That goes against every everyone that doubt him. And I have to respect that. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. And, uh, God bless you. Catch you in this one. Stay blessed. Girl, let me thank you.